What's going on guys? PXCam back in with a brand new video. We are racing around Dragon Trail Seaside, the reverse edition. An already difficult track as it is, but when you throw a dirty rammer into the lobby, well, it just makes things even more frustrating, especially because you have to avoid the chicane of death, and you have to avoid death from other players. So, I'm not going to waste too much of your time. We're going to jump straight into it. We get our 3-2-1, and away we go as we start off 5th place in our USA account. Starting in fifth, we have three Americans up uh, ahead, and we have the Canadian in second, and a couple of uh, Americans right behind us. But so, get into turn number one, we take it nice and easy, try to avoid making contact with that grass on the outside, as that can easily upset the car. And uh, we navigate our way through it nice and easy without any incidents. So, turn number one checked off the list. So, we head into the dash chicane for the first time, break very, very early to avoid the wall, and unfortunately. You see that it already claims one life, probably claimed a little bit more right behind us, but we gain an easy position there as I believe it was third place uh, just mistakenly took the corner and you saw the results there as he just got sent to the shadow room. Bye bye, we are up into four. So we now are starting to place pressure right here on OD Racer in third place and uh, we have ourselves a good setup for a podium here, maybe even second place, depending on what happens with the first and second driver. They are starting to pull away here. It's a little bit difficult to catch up, uh, especially because it's only a four lap race. No tire wear, no fuel consumption, but um, we're going to do everything we can to just put in as quick of a lap as we can and as well as avoid all the drama and the carnage that can definitely occur here. So we didn't get the best of runs into the S's and you can see that that really hurt us because we were starting to get stacked up here we now have fourth place or fifth place actually uh, on the inside of us and tries to take a little peek onto the inside as I make contact with him my fault didn't give him enough room on the inside but on the exit we get a yellow flag and it's actually the leader of virtue wood who just got on those curbs on the left hand side uh, of the exit and if you get on those curbs in a really bad spot, it just turns you right around and that ends up happening to you. But heading into turn number one, we get a little bit of a bump from behind from Pucho and uh, wasn't expecting much from that. I thought it was a mistake. Okay, I'll, I'll let that happen. Um, you know, I, I did squeeze him down heading into the chicane, so I wasn't too angry at that. Just, uh, just a little annoyed, but hey, it happens, it happens, it's racing, but... Heading to Chicane of Death for the second time, we just back out of the move there as we had the Argentinian make a move onto the inside and due to that, we just didn't get the correct line going into it and we actually made contact with the wall. But into the awkward left corner, you can see that up ahead, Pucho decides to push out uh, Virtue Wood and I thought it was because of something that happened early in the race, but you can see right here, he just lunges it into the inside, pushes off Virtue Wood and Virtue Wood gets pushed out to the side and unfortunately for him he loses two positions as uh, the other driver has to serve his penalty so already a lot of crazy drama happening here it's only been two laps into the race and uh, we have already been taken out by Pucho and also Virtue Wood so I'm a little bit on edge with him because I don't know what's going to happen when these guys catch up to him if he's going to race cleanly or if he's just going to be doing this the rest of the race but uh, heading off the S's is still a little train being formed here as Virtue Wood uh, gets a corner cut. It's a half a second penalty. And it's going to be very detrimental for him, but it's going to be beneficial towards us once we hit that penalty zone off of the chicane. So, uh, taking a little peek into the chicane, we back out of the move. Just We know he's got the half a second penalty. No need to force the issue. We don't want to go side by side with him and accidentally get him out of shape as he gets out of shape by the uh, rumble strip on the left hand side and you can just see you just hit that rumble strip incorrectly on the exit and your car just wants to spin out so uh, unfortunately for him he, he hit the uh, rumble strip twice and that was the result right there as we go a tad bit wide off of turn number one so uh, because of that we get pressured once again by the Canadian and we just have to back out of the move don't want to go side by side into these corners uh, just so you can see that this is the way we were supposed to do it the lap prior but just misjudged it and made contact with the wall but this time we were at least able to navigate our way through it nice and safely and we are still in the hunt for third place you can see second and first long gone they're you know ways down the road but we still have an opportunity to try to snatch this podium as uh, you can see the Argentinian and the American of uh, Pucho are still fighting with each other as we head into the S's. A little bit of contact is made there but you can see out of nowhere Pucho just bumps out the Argentinian 
Yeah, as we jump into the replay right here, we see what happens if the Argentinian makes a little bit of contact with Pujo. Pujo does not like it, pushes out the Argentinian, and uh, on that point, I don't know. It's, it's both of their faults for you know escalating that much, but uh, Pujo didn't have to kill him like that. Um, uh, you already know that he had pushed us out of the way. He pushed out uh, Virtue Wood out of the way. So I'm honestly not surprised that he would push out the Argentinian for the bump. But, you know, sometimes aggression does come out, especially on this race. It's a very, very difficult track, uh, especially when you're racing around with the Supra. The Supra is it's a really hard car. Uh, you have to really be on top of your toes here um, because it can get snapped loose very, very quickly. Get a lot of oversteer in some of these corners. And um, although it is the fastest, you just have to be really, really good with the wheel. But see that Pujo had a service penalty and now he has demoted himself all the way down to P Steve but I'm glad that that's the last we're going to see of him now it's just a two car battle between me and Jay Funk for this podium let's see what's going to happen here as we have about 75% uh, of the lap left so into these set of corners once again we uh, navigate it nice and easy as Jay Funk makes contact with the wall and that's going to hurt his uh, exit speed tremendously as we take a little peek onto the inside try to sneak it onto the inside but Jay Funk is able to break later than us and uh, we just have to wait patiently to see if we can find another opportunity to make the overtake there's about two more opportunities that we can try to go for if not final result we try to use a slipstream on the final straight and uh, hopefully we can make the overtake just on pure pace so uh, we head into the S's still just following J-Funk but the uh, uh, dirty air is just ruining uh, our grip on this racetrack as we're just getting a ton of understeer and J-Funk was able to just stretch his lead a little bit here off of the S's and we just have to do everything we can on this next set of corners to just try to close the gap as much as we can uh, so that we can at least uh, make an opportunity to overtake but as we head into the final chicane probably our last best overtaking opportunity you can see that he's just a tad bit too far away we just have to go in through it nice and easy try so we can get a great exit and luckily for us we do we get an absolutely rocket over exit and we now are in the slipstream with jay funk because we're going to go side by side it's going to be a drag race to the line it's all the way at the end of the straight who's going to get this podium and it's jay funk by one hundredth of a second very very close to him nice clean battle ah oh, man i should have overtaken him but unfortunately we just did not uh, complete the job and this is the result right here it was the fourth place only a hundredth of a second away from the podium so let's see what we could do here on our next race as we jump into our second race we find ourselves starting in p steve as you can see we are one of the lowest a plus ranked drivers on this lobby but doesn't hurt me we're gonna try to see if we can still get this podium as we get our three two one and away we go once again and you can see in the top five we have a few familiar faces from the race prior we have Odie, uh quasi and virtue wood uh in this lobby but we also get two new face uh fresh faces we have christopher uca and roar mati the chilean in second so we're gonna see what we can do here see if we can try to navigate our way up through the field and hopefully 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 snag a podium to be the first podium uh on a top split lobby this week so navigating our way through the chicane everyone makes it uh without any deaths so uh probably should rebrand it to just the easy chicane as everyone was able to just make it through without any incidents but as we head into the awkward left corner uh you can see that everybody ran a tad bit wide and we were able to make up a lot of time on the guys up ahead as we are now starting to pressure Odie Racer here, uh, heading into the S's. So, what's interesting is that he didn't pick the Super. He decided to pick the FT1, and uh, not really familiar with that car on this racetrack. I know a couple of people have tried different types of cars here. I know I saw a Supra, uh, or no, actually we are in the Supra. I saw a, a BMW, I saw a, a Porsche, and I saw I've seen some other different cars, probably like an Aston Martin. You can see uh, Quasi is using the corvette up ahead but it's very interesting the car selection they can use here but for me i don't know i feel like the super chest is the all-around well-balanced car and it has the fastest time on here so it has to say uh, you know speaks for something but as we head in uh, off of the chicane here you can see that quasi just gets a really bad exit holds up od racer we have to take evasive action and unfortunately we just had nowhere to go except for the rear of od racer and uh, we lose a lot of time from the brazilian of christopher in, in the podium so uh, we take a little peek onto the inside of Odie, try to make the overtake break as late as we can 
and uh, just good side-by-side -side racing with Odie as uh, we did go a little too hot but he gave me plenty of room so shout out to him for doing that but as we come out of the corner I just knew we weren't gonna have the pace down the straight so just back out of the move there don't want to go side-by-side -side once again so uh, we just take a nice and easy line here just stay single file but Odie Racer actually makes contact with the outside barrier and that just ruins his exit. We take another peek onto the inside into the awkward left-hander. So it's almost a two-car battle. And uh, we go into the inside and we get the overtake done as we are now positioned in fifth place. So great side-by-side -side racing with Odie. Really, really enjoy seeing stuff like that. That's one of the reasons why this game is just absolutely brilliant on some of its um, racing turns. But uh, when you get good side-by-side -side racing like that, it's just so much fun. And uh, now we are going to set our sights on 4th and 3rd so we can snatch that podium away. So jumping a little more forward into the race, we find ourselves into the final lap. And uh, we were able to get our way into 4th place after uh, I believe it was the Brazilian just lost it on the chicane of death. And uh, unfortunately for him, that was race over as we now find ourselves in 4th. So trying to catch up to Quasimoto in third we uh, head for the final time into this corner and you can see that no deaths were to be reported there as Quasimoto just navigated nice and easy and we were able to do the same thing as well as we head into the awkward left and uh, we're just gonna see how close we can close that gap is it's 2.7 seconds you can easily make that up here especially if someone just accidentally uh, overdrives in one of these corners, especially to the S. The S is you can gain and lose so much time there. That is really, really the important uh, location of the track to to make up time because it's, it's such a difficult uh, understeery uh, set of corners that a lot of people get it right, but also a lot of people get it wrong during race situations. So you just have to navigate it nice and easy and uh, make sure that you don't overdrive that corner and that you hit your marks. But you can see how much time we were able to gain on Quasi. It has dropped down from 2.7 seconds to almost 2 seconds. So in the span of half a lap, we almost gained an entire second on him. And as we head into the final chicane, we're just doing everything in our in our willpower to try to just close the gap and just try to capitalize on any mistake because, you know, anybody could lose it off the final chicane. But unfortunately for us, we weren't able to close the gap up. And again, we were just so close to get that podium. Yet so far away as Quasi just uh, celebrates his way down the line and we finish this race in fourth place. So, ah, uh, man, Dragon Trail Seaside. This reverse edition is just very, very tricky, very, very technical. And uh, in my opinion, it's a lot more difficult than just a normal version of Tra Dragon Trail Seaside. But you can have some brilliant racing here, but it is also a track that you can see a lot of dirtiness and a lot of the worst of people as you saw on the very first race but let me know how you guys are doing leave it in the comments down below fourth place for us two races in a row can't be mad about that but wish we can get a podium maybe throughout the rest of the week we can probably get a podium but again let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments down below if you guys really enjoy the video please feel free to hit that like button and the subscribe button it really helps out the channel when you guys do so and so you guys made it to the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did hope to catch you guys on the next one peace